Okay, another long game. Let's see if we can get a balance for the creative thinking. Ordinarily, we just shoot through on the centre here in this situation. So they're looking to keep tension, but they're wanting to castle before us. So I'm actually going to take the pawn off the board, smaller piece, attacking a higher piece, which is the pawn attacking the knight. So our knight can't take his knight because he has a pin through onto our king. So I can bring the bishop here just to defend, don't need to overthink it. So he's keeping tension again, um, because he's put a 2-1-1 on this pawn here because he's got his knight there as well attacking. So we do have a free knight because of that particular move. So we can potentially just take this um, knight off the board for free. Could also attack the bishop. His queen then would be attacking our knight. So he would potentially kind of get that back. So would we be better just taking this knight? Because we have the support with the queen on the pawn here so we can support our knight now with this particular situation at the moment so we're trying to be cool calm and collected our opponents come out with a set play thing capture with the queen nice and steady so he's grabbing a pawn he's also on our rook maybe he's going to grab another pawn or we can just simply bring our queen back and attack his queen is he going to want to give up the queen? Before we do that, is there anything on their king that we can do? Could sacrifice the knight, but it's not to any benefit really. Pawn takes, queen takes, puts a check on, but then the bishop comes in front. Actually, the bishop can't come in front. King will move to this side, so he's opening up, so that would be a bit dangerous. So I'm just going to bring the queen back, supporting the rook. We've done enough damage so feeling fairly okay we can actually go and castle now if we can get the rook here facing off the queen but i think they're going to go and castle yeah which they have done so i'm just going to face the queen off not going to rush anything just going to try and pace it out as best possible so at the minute they've got a lone queen out here but we're not chasing the queen down just yet. We need to get our pieces together. Try and work them as a team. As you can see, the opponent's time hasn't run down. I mean, mine's not run down too much either. Um, based on the speed at which they've moved, maybe they didn't find the better positions, but if the game isn't over yet, now they've gone into a deep think so we may be in trouble so we do have a discovered check through with our knight with, with our rook onto their queen so what can this knight do could come here so then it's attacking this pawn and we have the bishop here attacking as well queen's protecting the knight so i'm going to bring the knight here with the discovered check on the queen with the potential attack here attacking the king Or maybe the knight even attacking the rook. Although I don't really want to invite the rook over. But the queen's there. We'll take the queen off the board. So they've put fought into that. It's moved to the side. Still on the knight. We can take the... I think putting the check on the king would work, wouldn't it? Is there anything else? Let's put the check on the king. Grab the pawn. We don't want to trap the bishop, so the bishop's going to have to come back. So we could attack the queen now. A smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. We've not blocked our knight, so the queen is still defending the knight. Just so we remember. 
So it's these stages now I need to just rein myself in and not think I have to rush my next moves or anything. Let's keep trying to look. It's gone to a dark square. Our queen can come here to attack to see if he wants to reduce down, but it's also looking to attack here as well, which would be quite good for us. So I think he will exchange. In fact, we could actually just sneak the queen all the way over here with sights of coming to here. Would that be better? So we've got two on one here and then potential attack here for a checkmate type position. So it's all about sitting and waiting to see what the opponent does now. Probably see, oh, okay. So he's wanting his king to come there. So he's gonna go onto the dark square. If we put the check here, his king comes here. I don't need to do that move if I don't want to. I can come back and attack his queen now if I want to. Because it doesn't seem... Knight could take the pawn with a check on the king. But then he's going to have an x-ray through with his rook onto our queen. So I don't think that's a good capture. Knight takes. Rook's still standing there. Knight takes, rook doesn't take, it just stays there. King moves to not onto a white dark square. A white square will go onto here. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. Come here, he goes there, but then we go here with a check. Then he escapes down. So at least we're bothering him. Okay. So we'll go there, we'll continue the moves, let's go here, and we can't, woohoo, not yet, <laughs> it's just going to place it there, silly. Okay, so the king's now out in the open, he's on our knight. Do -do 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 -do. Let's see could bring the queen here with a discover check again let's go here if this bishop wasn't here we'd be able to do that type of thing but it is there so we can't do that it does have this type of situation but I think he's going to be looking to move his king back again yeah Okay, so potentially looking for a draw. Could always go and attack the rook. Mm, nah, that's not looking too nice, is it? Okay, could bring a rook up to attack. move the bishop out of the way so the knight can do an attack on the queen make space for because if we come down here not that he's going to allow us anything but looking for potential here maybe the queen can then come and start touching on the king that way just bring the bishop back still got protection with the knight so far I'm expecting the pawn to drop down you see as well We still do have this action if we're losing the thread. It's attacking our queen. So we could come across. And I was thinking here, but I can't go there, but we can come here. But then he takes our knight. So it might be a simple case of coming here. Yeah, okay, just coming here. Got to be mindful, he's targeting this square, but his queen's not quite on there yet. So 
So we do have this type of action if they forget themselves. And we've still got the knight potentially coming to attack the queen. Which was the initial movement of the bishop moving to this area here. So I'm just going to take my time now. He's going to want to open up his white square bishop because he wants to link up his rooks. Yep. So we do have this. Queen take him. So we get his bishop, he gets our knight. So we come up, he comes down. take don't want to get my queen trapped after it's doing all this nice work we take he potentially takes hmm attack the queen I bet you it's in there. I mean, I could just, I think I can simply take it. It's just that I don't really want to give up my knight. Take. He moves. Attack the queen. Queen comes here. Targeting this pawn and he's got the bishop and the, ooh, that's nasty. Oh yeah, that's nasty. That's a, that's not a pretty picture, is it? Yeah, we take. He comes down here. If we went and attacked, his queen comes here. It's attacking this pawn. If we pushed up, then his bishop is going to take. And his king is safe as Larry. No, no, we don't want any of that. So, we need to change the tables here. Shall we not just attack the queen instead? Or if we take, then he comes there. Then we come back down again. Oh, but then his queen can take the knight. There, rook comes across with a blocker. Oh, it feels so right, but it's so wrong with all the pieces that he's got facing our king. Damn. Come on, think, think, think. Rook up. We take. His king comes down. He's got a two on one on the knight. His king comes down. Can't push this pawn. Can't push that because the rook will take it. I don't think we want to be falling into that, do we? If we attack the queen, he doesn't have to take. I don't think I'm missing something. What about this rook? What about this rook? Is that going to work? Rook here. Palm can't drop down. Let's go for a rook rover. Roll, not a rook rover, but let's try and double the rooks up. I took a long time with that one. It's quite fearful because it looked good. But it looks like I need to get more pieces into the frame. He's got a massive attack process coming around here. So we need to kind of prevent that with the rook and the queen and the bishop. We're all facing this diagonal. That's the creative brain. You see that length of time I took then? That's the creative brain overthinking. 
it sees something but then it, the fear fear comes in and starts throwing all these problems I think he's gonna go and if we can double then he might just come for a pawn mm, scary times they might be taking a leaf out of my book now taking a nice long break interesting or is he looking to just get my bishop off the board that's probably the simplest thing that's going to happen isn't it so what happens when it lands here do we just take it off no I don't think we need to pay any attention to that because we could go with the rook then the king's down here then we can go like this and that would be kind of a checkmate oh oh it's landed on the bishop i think that was there was nothing else that could do though was there he doesn't want to go here because that's checkmate like we just said oh no wow the creative brain helped me i would say it helped me because it as much as the fear it put in we then be we were able to logicalize the process and taking that length of time to think that through um other people probably could have seen that dead straight away quicker um, but i'm learning the ropes on trying to get the creative thinking in there and working with the logicalization of it that was a nice game, I was really quite pleased with that. Let's have a look at the analysis though, as we do. Because it's probably not as good as we think it was, so as usual, let's dive in. it started yeah okay let's go let's just whiz through these bits here so we attack through the center and it's saying you can grab the pawn i don't think i grabbed the pawn like that okay so grab here so black is winning here and that was the move that basically changed the whole thing the queen because we had a free knight so we grabbed the free knight then grabbed the knight oh it's saying take the bishop you see, I wasn't happy with that because he's just going to take the knight with a check on our king. I suppose to get the exchange. Okay, fine, fair enough. I didn't see it that way. I don't think I spent enough time on it. I just says, well, no, I'm not having any of that. So I'm just defended. Works out just the same. It's just that we've got a knight instead of a bishop. Extra. So they've actually captured the pawn and shows we're kind of out and out winning here plus four which is that's okay for us but it just counts material really you know um, i'm happy with the position that i've got on the board so we brought it down oh uh, yeah castling duh <laughs> oh my gosh castling obviously then it protects the rook i'm bringing my queen back down okay fair enough right so then we castled and then we're looking to get a next ray through to the queen yeah we did the knight move because we're looking at pressure in the pawn but they didn't move the pawn they moved the queen didn't want that x-ray so captured brought the bishop back yep that makes sense brought the queen ah the right place as well because we did say we were potentially coming here to exchange off but it did look better actually being able to put a check on the king so I brought it through oh no I missed that oh look at that sneaky little corner there damn okay so I came across did it make much difference that's uh oh mate in seven yeah it did make a big difference Trat. Mate in seven. 
<laughs> Ooh, I, 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 I think I would have missed that. That's a nice position though. I wouldn't have seen that. I would love to have seen it, but I don't know if I would have seen it during this game. That is nice. Okay, very good, but we didn't do that. So we put the check on, so plus 10 at the moment, so it's not looking too bad for us. Just wait to see if there's any major dips because I want to improve on these. Look at that major dip. Oh, giving him a 2 on 1. Look at it. Oh, man. And even there it's saying take the knight and then the rook could take. So what? what's that all about? Oh, I messed that bit up. So can't the rook take? Why can't the rook take? Am I missing something? Ooh, blam. Okay, tasty, tasty, tasty. Yeah. I over-egged it. Oh, that's so special. Oh, man. Another one where I could kick myself. Felt really good in the game, but this evaluation is showing it wasn't that clever, dude. Oh, and then they've played back into our hands. And we brought the bishop back. Okay, so it's mating, mating two here. That actually went for it. That actually went for it. And I went through. Oh, oh you're joking. You're joking me. Oh, I, I didn't even see that either. How simple was that? We knew something was there, but we then went, oh, they're going to come round here. I'm forgetting all the while that the bishop is here. Oh my god. And there's me thinking I was playing a stonking game. Look at that. And the game ended. Wow, there's about three moments there. Three moments where we could have finished it off. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I did spend a lot of time over that particular move as well. Some would call that shabby. Oh, scary times. The bishop has got the pawn. Bang. And it's all forced moves. Oh.